Hey everyone, it's Mithril, and welcome back to this leg of my journey of learning how to draw. Today's video comes with a little bit of backstory. Basically, what happened was, back when I made my first video about figure drawing, 10 days of figure drawing, I sort of put the pictures into a sort of timeline and posted it on Reddit in order to, you know, promote my video and my channel, and also provide some inspiration to people, showing that, hey, you can make this amount of progress within just a few days if you really, you know, put your mind to it and focus on something and practice it. So 10 days ago, as of recording this voiceover, which will probably be 17 days ago as of this video coming out, a Reddit user commented on that post. They said, Okay, sorry for resurrecting your thread, but holy crap, I came from your comment in another thread, and this is amazing. Do you have any pics of what your figure drawings slash poses look like now? If you've been watching my video, that's what they look like now. And I was inspired to try to draw again after reading this comment, because it kind of felt like a punch to the gut to read that. I mean, that I was, you know, a certain level of skill at the beginning of August, and it's been, what, four or five months since then. So if I can make that amount of progress in 10 days, how good am I after five months? And the answer is this, because... <laughs> I've just been deteriorating and hemorrhaging my drawing abilities since I pretty much stopped drawing during the school semester. And it's brought up all these memories of the times that I stopped drawing before, and how it feels really crappy, you know? Like you make some progress and then life gets in the way and you don't get to draw for a while and you come back and you feel like you have to start back at ground zero. Like, you're back at step one, you're confused, like you remember the way that the art just sort of flowed out of you once upon a time, but you can't call upon that anymore. And, I don't know, it was really upsetting. So, I decided that I should, you know, get back into figure drawing, but do it for real this time, you know? Like, along with my New Year's resolutions and stuff, I want to start approaching this in a different way and also keep going with it and stay consistent with it. So that first video I watched was something I just saw while scrolling one day in YouTube. I saved it to my watch later and I felt like, you know, in this video is a good time to watch it. I don't know if it helps all that much because I feel like I'm already aware uh, that I can't draw poses and it didn't really give me that many, you know, practical steps to actually fix that. Uh, while I was exploring that video, I saw uh, Miss Carrie J's sort of, I don't know, series of video guides on figure drawing, starting from the beginning of the first sort of foundational gesture up until a more rendered form. I've never watched these videos before starting filming for my video here, but I know that she is a very beloved creator of some of the people on my Discord, so I felt like this would be a great resource to check out. I feel like it definitely helped to have, you know, this, this basic sort of gesture framework like this. I feel like usually when people teach gesture, they just say, you know, draw the lines that, I don't know, that look like where there's movement going or something like that. And it's all kind of nebulous. I feel like all this time I've just wanted them to tell me, draw the arms like this, draw the body like this, draw the legs like this, and then make it follow the flow. And I feel, I don't know, I felt a lot more comfortable drawing it like this. But I still felt like my gestures were really stiff, and a lot of the times they didn't convey the pose all that well. Like, I don't know, I was sort of generally following the direction of the pose and the body and the limbs and stuff, 
but I couldn't convey the feeling or the way that, say, the torso was facing, right? Because here it's supposed to be facing over to the right side, and I couldn't do that somehow. And that's really confusing to me. And I don't know, in a past life, I might have done this for one or two days and then given up again, because I've done this. I've watched so many guides on how to draw a gesture. And I would feel like I didn't get it, and then I would quit. But I feel like taking my knowledge from the 10 days of figure drawing and realizing that it seems, I don't know, useless at first, and it seems impossible, but like I can get it. After a certain time, all of a sudden, like your brain just starts to put the pieces together, and then it makes more sense. So, I don't know, that kind of, that faith allowed me to continue on and keep practicing. Here, I went home for some sort of birthday celebration with my family. So I'm actually drawing on my laptop and it kept on auto-rotating and stuff. I barely know how to use this thing, so there'll be flashes and stuff. Just ignore it. <laughs> I feel like here again, I'm trying to generally place lines in the direction that they're supposed to go, but they're stiff and I still haven't, you know, figured out how to actually convey what these poses are. Like, a simple pose like this is not too bad, but looking at it now, I still can tell I can't really see where the center of gravity is or where the motion is going and stuff like that. And of course, while I was doing it, I could tell that I wasn't conveying things all that well either. I just, I didn't know how to fix it. And I didn't know what to do about it, so I just left well enough alone. And that's not a bad thing, you know? I'm realizing that the practice doesn't have to look good. Like, the process gets to be terrible and ugly, and it's a work in progress. <laughs> I feel like a lot of my fear of practice comes from, I don't know, I guess it's that feeling, you know? I know that Sykra talks about this, how beginners are sort of averse to actually doing any drawing. Because you might follow a tutorial and draw one good thing and you're like, wow, that looks really nice. And then you don't want to draw anything else because, like, you know, what if you're not able to recreate it? That means I'm a bad artist, right? If I can only draw one good thing and a hundred bad things, then I'm a bad artist, so I should just keep my one good thing, and that makes me a good artist. And that sounds really depressing, saying it out loud like that, but that's how I thought for a long time. I remember I sort of impulse bought um, this notebook, this sketchbook, and a set of pastels. And I drew one eye on the first page. And I was thinking, wow, that's a pretty nice eye. And I would go around and show it to all my friends and my parents and my brother and everything. I'd be like, look, I drew this nice eye. And then afterward, I had a sort of mental block. Like, I was afraid to add anything else to that sketchbook because I felt like I would mess it up. And I didn't want to draw any more in pastels because I didn't think I would be able to recreate that sort of quality. And then so I didn't. I basically wasted those pastels in that sketchbook. But now I feel like I'm not afraid anymore. Because, you know, I, I've done this for a while. I know that I can make progress if I just put in the time and effort. And even if I can't see it, my brain is still processing that information and my body is still building those muscles and getting better. So I just need to trust the process. Trust the process of putting in time, putting in effort, and just doing it. <sighs> but yeah, this feeling of, I don't know, taking a break from art for a while and feeling like I've lost all my skills is getting tiresome. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
and I need to not do this anymore. And I feel like, you know, better time management skills like I'm trying to work on making videos for this channel because, you know, it kind of forces me to draw because the videos don't exist until I start drawing. And I've been learning to make things easier for myself. Like, I've been learning these drawing tools. I found Senshi Stock. I always come back here every time to draw more pictures of her references. And I don't know, less thinking. Easier to do means more likely to do, as Ashni Christ says. And I feel like I've been, you know, forming my life around that and improving. Just watching through the video now, I'm realizing, like, while I was doing it, I felt like I didn't get any better at all. But I can see the progress even over the first few days. Oh, here's a fun time. I decided I wanted to look for a new source of stock images because, you know, variety is fun and whatever. So I found Mr. Janum's stock. And yeah, it was fun looking at, um, you know, a variety of new figures, new poses, body types, etc. Every one of these gesture drawings is sort of like solving a little puzzle. And at this point, I really didn't know quite how, but I tried my best. You know, I can see the angles and I tried to exaggerate them and replicate them in the best way I could so that when I looked at them side by side, and thought, yeah, I can tell that they're both trying to convey the same feeling. It was a really nice feeling of accomplishment. But as I kept drawing, I realized that they were, that these more sexualized photos were really nice to practice gesture because they were already a little more exaggerated, sort of on the hips and the waist and the shoulders. It was um, a lot easier to tell which way the gesture was supposed to be flowing. So then I just kept drawing them and I really enjoyed it. I felt like I was making a lot of progress because like, you know, in good gesture drawings, you can see like, uh, I don't know, like really splayed out shoulders, like hips going in the other direction and legs being all like thin and curvy. I don't know if that's a, actually a good gesture or just what I like to see in a gesture, but the way that the gesture of those photos had to be rendered made it easier for me to achieve the style I was looking for, I guess is what I'm saying. So unconventional method, maybe, I don't know. I've never heard anyone else say that before, but maybe it's like a well-known fact in the art community that I just don't know about. So. It was fun to do this because I felt like I was finally doing it, you know? I've always wanted to learn how to draw gesture well, and now I found this really nice lady who is making these videos and making a helpful resource, and it was just another thing that I could trust and follow. Like, I spent a lot of time between the videos. I didn't want to watch them all at once because, you know, of course, she didn't release them all at once, you know? And she said at the end of the first video that the people who actually wanted to learn and improve would practice it. So I was like, I want to learn and improve. So I practiced. I think that watching the second video about the line of action really helped because especially on these more sexy photos because they were usually pretty curvy. And so then I could just draw the curves and then draw the little gesture figure over it and it turned out really nicely. And at the end of these first few days, I was really happy with the amount of progress I made and I was excited to do more drawing. At this point that I'm recording this now, I've drawn for 10 days in a row and I feel like I've definitely improved a lot. You'll see the second five, the, sec the second set of five days in another week from this video. And yeah, I feel like it's been, it's been really good. I'm gonna include some of the gestures I made of the same picture. 
uh, from a few days ago and from the first time I was trying to learn figure along with what I'm doing now. Thank you so much for watching and following me on this journey. Critiques and criticism are welcome on everything related to this channel. Side note, I think I'm going to start posting every single thing I draw onto Instagram as sort of like, I don't know, a live feed of my practice and finished works and everything. So if you're interested in that, follow me at Mithrilda. Have a great day and get back to work.